Kondwani Banda travels thousands of kilometers every year to check on children fighting cancer in the remotest parts of Malawi. He's a clinical officer in Malawi's first pediatric oncology ward at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Blantyre. It was set up by Professor Liz Molino, who calls Mr. Banda her right-hand man, not only on the wards, but visiting children who've missed their hospital checkups. Mr. Banda follows up many of our children who either haven't come to complete their treatment or haven't come so that we could ensure that they're well and problems haven't occurred. And of course there will be children who will have died and we don't know, we don't know whether they are alive or not. So for the child it's important to finish a treatment. For us it's important to know that they've done well or not. And Mr. Banda's role is essential. Every week his checkups take him to remote areas where no ordinary car can drive. Like Kayala village, where today he's seeing eight-year-old Robin Jingan, who's recovering from Burkitt's lymphoma a common childhood cancer in Africa, which often causes lumps in the jaw and stomach. Robin is very fine now. Initially, came with a swelling on the jaw, which was treated at Queen's, but now the swelling is completely gone. I can't see any evidence of uh, cancer now. We follow them at one month, then at six months, then at, after one year. After that, we declare them cured. Robin's mother, who has five other children, wasn't sure what the swelling was, but was lucky to be referred finally to the cancer ward. And Robin's back playing football. Mr. Banda understands why families like these often miss their hospital follow-ups and need his visits. Malawi is one of the world's poorest countries. It is very, very important to visit them because uh, nowadays it's very expensive for the parents and the, uh, the child to come to Blanta for follow-up. Well, they cannot afford transport. Uh, otherwise, they have other children who are at home. They need support. They need to go to school. Man is not. It's very difficult to find. But it's not easy travelling, particularly in the rainy season and when there's no address, just complicated directions. Sometimes, when you have never visited that place, it's not easy to find because uh, it's a new place. So you have to rely on people asking where. Uh, this village is sometimes extremely difficult. It also depends on what type of, uh, is it uh, rainy season, is it uh, winter? Sometimes the rainy season is very difficult. Uh, the other thing is more disappointing sometimes we go for four up and you find the child is dead. It's not good news at all. But Mr. Banda's in better luck on his second visit of the day. His outreach work monitoring the effectiveness of chemotherapy has helped the hospital improve its treatment of HIV-related cancer, Carposi's sarcoma, in children like Manuel Chimalazeni, who's in remission. The cancer can cause lesions and swellings on the face. Uh, he was referred for chemotherapy and we started chemotherapy right in December, stayed in the ward for two weeks. Then we discharged them. They were coming for follow-up every two weeks to get more chemotherapy. Now Emmanuel has improved a lot because at the first he had edema and swelling all over the face and he could not even properly see. Now he's able to see, he's able to walk. So we think we have done something with him. Manuel's guardians, his uncle and his grandmother, found it hard making the hospital visits and appreciate Mr. Banda's checkups. <laughs> The hospital helped Manuel's grandmother, like other families, by providing weekly welcome packs funded by World Child Cancer 
which also supports the ward and the work of Mr. Banda. The money that we are getting from World Child Cancer is very, very important because it helps us with the transport for the patient when they are coming out from the hospital and also it helps on getting extra food for them, which parents on their own they cannot afford. After a long day's travelling, it's time for Mr. Banda to return to his work on the cancer ward and to report back on his visits to the children and their fight against cancer. He's always received with great delight and uh, it's always for us enormously satisfying when he comes back and says somebody's done well.